How's it going, my happy subscribers? It's your boy Marco, and I'm back with another Call of Duty commentary. Uh, today, we'll be looking over my uh, my current competitive classes for Domination. Uh, the class, you guys are more welcome to use these classes if you want. If you are, let me know uh, how you guys use them, like if you like them or not. And uh, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first class here, this is my main start off class. Uh, we got the Remington with the foregrip and uh, red dot. I really dislike the iron sights of the uh, of the Remington. It feels like it's too congested for me, uh, to my liking. So that's why I have the red dot. And because the, the Remington is such a uh, high po high power rifle, uh, and it could kill from long distances. I think it's a three bullet three bullet kill for up to 45 meters or something like that. So I have the foregrip so I can control my uh, my shot at those long range encounters. This is my main class. This is what I usually use to when I break off. Depending on the map and also depending on how uh, I want to play and also how my teammates are playing. Like if they're running a lot of subs, then I'll use something a bit faster. Or if they're running ARs, then I'll go to this one and then also the map again, like I said. Uh, so this is th this class I use for like, you know, watching over B, posting up. Uh, so that's why I have a nade. I have one nade here. Uh, you know, so if I'm watching over B and someone's on B flag, I can just nade, off, nade people off B. Uh, or I can, you know, also, I'll be close to my home flag, so if someone on the enemy team wants to go for a flip, I can just need them off of our home base and, uh, I'll clean them up. Uh, for, for perks-wise, you're going to three, see three main staples. Always you're going to see Ready Up, Death Silence, and Focus. Those are going to be the main staples for my classes. Uh, for everyone's classes, I think the sta two staples definitely be this Focus and Death Silence. Uh, so yeah, so ready up is when I, you know, when I get to my locations, I want my gun to be ready up just in case if someone rushes me out unexpectedly, I can get my gun up faster so I can start shooting. I got my marathon because this is my star off class and usually for my team, I, uh, cap the home flag all the time and let my teammates push up and, you know, try to secure B while I cap the home flag. So for me to support my teammates, I need to get to my location a lot faster this switched all the time from uh, marathon to agility, but I feel marathon is a lot better because I can just like cl uh, click down the sprint button and just let it go. Uh, I have no room for both, so it has to be one or the other. I think marathon suits me better. I got the fast aiming uh, quick draw here. I switch this out for a few things every now and then. I can sw I switch this out a lot of time for a safe one, you know, a better, uh, hip fire or a sprint that I can throw on a, a tactical too if I want. Uh, but for right now, I don't. I, it's just a quick draw because that works out better for me. And then again, does silence. You know, without it, you sound like an elephant uh, walking around, no matter what map you're on. Uh, even with dead silence, it doesn't fully negate the sounds of your footsteps. So it, it's better to have it than not to have it. And then focus obviously reduces flinch when you're hit, when you sway, you get hit. Uh, focus is a must, obviously. And then for my uh, specialist here. Uh, let's just do this quickly. Yes, yeah, so from a specialist, I got my starting off with sleight of hand and steady aim. This actually changes all the time. Actually, it changes actually right now. Uh, we'll have this here. Because the Remington actually has the fastest uh, reload time. So it, we, it it's really not necessary to have sleight of hand right at the start. So I'm going to put on Steady Aims and Scavenger. Steady Aim, you know, when I get to hip fires, I like to hip fire, especially if I'm playing like uh, Octane or something like that, and I'm in Strip Club or I'm going Top Broken or I'm in Gas Station or something like that, and so it's a close quarters fight, uh, then I'll hip fire my way and then I'll get my aim on eventually. Uh, so the hip fire helps me out a lot. Use it. And then with the Remington, you know, you, you could drain a lot of bullets, so by six kills, uh, for me roughly, I'll be starting to run low on ammo, so uh, scavenger is not a must for there. As you notice on my bonus, I get all my bonus perks at 8 kills instead of uh, 11 or 13. Uh, the way you do that, I just showed you, but the way to do that is you throw in some miscellaneous perk that you don't want to use. So it's the bonus at 11, and take that off right there, it goes to 8, and then you get your specials at 8 kills. And then for my specialist, I have my sleight of hand, again, for faster reloading, agility to help me out with, uh, you know, move around the map. And then my two staples always in the bonus will be tact tactical and uh, blast shield, always. Uh, so this is my secondary class, my second uh, Remington class. 
here is basically the same, kind of the same setup, just the perks are very, uh, very a little bit. Uh, so this one is for like, you know, if they're attacking B right away, I need to rush them. Uh, you know, this could be switched out actually. That. Alright, so, so we'll leave it like this. So I have two nades here. Again, this is for when the enemy team attacks B a lot. Uh, I got my uh, extra lethal, so I have two grenades and then I have the tactical as well. And then again, I have my ready up. I got the marathon, you know, I die. And I can just keep running toward B and keep chucking those nades constantly over and over again. Uh, just make them, you know, make them harder to get the flag and make it easier for them. And then again, dead silence of focus. And then I got the lethal. And then for uh, specialist, I believe it's a more or less the same thing. Let's just switch it around a little bit. Switch that out to scavenger here. Throw a side of hand there. And then we get into my subclasses. Um, my sub here, I have my uh, my vector. I got the grip. I know the, the vector is it's a, it's a really good weapon, especially for domination. I like it way more better than the MTAR for domination wise. Uh, so the grip just helps out with the recoil. And it just, you know, just increases quite a bit of, uh, you know, of your stats. Then I have the muzzle brake to compete with the range of the Emitar. So with the muzzle brake on, the, uh, the vector goes up to like a standard uh, Emitar more or less. And then uh, we got, you know, we got my frag grenades. This class I usually do for roaming around B flag. So if this were, if we're playing fright, I'll be basically on B on the on the train tracks, running back and forth or posted up somewhere. And then I have my tactical. And then my perks again i got ready up i got steady aim some machine guns and steady aim are very very good if you guys don't usually run that uh just figure out a way to put steady aim in there it'll help you out a lot then again death silence and focus the staples and then i got the extra lethal uh you know i like i like to chuck in the nades so you know i could throw a nade onto b flag and then i could also uh, you know chuck a nade on a different direction like on a flanker or something like that uh Constant move that I always do for B if like we're uh, say we're playing fright and we have a Porter side as our home. I believe that's uh, a And we're about to cap uh, B and what I what I usually do is I'll chuck my nades I'll chuck one nade by gate Say if I'm running from uh, crate side I'll chuck my nade to gate and then I'll chuck my tactical bottom Owens And then if I get if I don't get a hit on either or I'll save my extra nade or if I get hit bottom owens with my tactical, I'll throw my second nade. Or if I get hit with my first nade on gate, I'll throw my second nade there. And it just cleans them up more or less. Uh, for specialists from my strike package, again, I have agility. I want to get to my places faster. Uh, I find with submachine guns that uh, I, you, I don't like to have a marathon. Because I constantly find myself running, wanting to use the perk, just run, keep sprinting. And that's not good for me because I like with some machine guns. If we have both flags, you know, you just need to post up and just you know just chillax kind of thing. So uh, agility I have here just in case if I need to move around faster. Side of hand, if I you know if I'm getting pushed quite a bit at uh, B flag, I can just uh, you know reload quick and get back into the game. And then for my specialist bonus, I have uh, what do I have here? I got quick draw for the faster aiming. Again, that goes with side of hand more or less. And then I got resilience. Uh, there's nothing really else I could put on here, so I just threw on resilience. It's better, you know, because you never know. Some some buildings do, do give you fall damage, but there's no point even using takedown because you do have, you know, when you shoot, you'll show up on the mini map anyways. Takedowns are kind of useless, so next best thing is resilience. And then again, staples again, my attack and uh, blast shield. Uh, my other class this is my MTAR class, and it's basically the exact same setup. It's just the guns are different. It just depends on what I uh, what I feel like using. If I feel like using the Amtar or the Vector, so it doesn't really matter. And then this is my uh, my Bison class. This is for basically putting pressure on the enemy team, keeping them in their spawn, um, or if it's like a close game, times uh, like winding down and the points are or the score is very close. I just need to get to the like B flag and defend as much as possible. Uh, this is what I use for it. Uh, this class I use a lot of hip fire for. So I have the Bison. The Bison has a really fast fire rate. So I get to drop people faster. I got the Flash Suppressor. Uh, you know, it just increases the accuracy a lot. So the 
accuracy of the hip fire as well as the um, the aiming was very well with the flash suppressor. And then I have grip, you know, just to control my shots. And then for perks, I'm, I'm, I'm running no lethal tactical here, so I can run full up, full up perks. Uh, so here I have a ready up, you know, I'll be sprinting a lot due to the fact of agility and marathon. So ready up really helps me up with this, uh, you know, get my gun faster. Then steady aim goes with the ready up. So basically all those four perks work with each other. Uh, you know, when I get my, when I'm done sprinting and about to attack someone, my gun will pop up faster and I can just hit fire right away, which is where the steady aim comes in play. And then again, the two staples, the death silence and focus. And then for uh, my specialists, I uh, start off with a sleight of hand. Um, I usually get this right away on three kills, uh, especially when time is dwindling down. Like maybe there's like a minute left or something like that. I'll pull this class out, and then I'll get sleight of hand required, like basically every life. Uh, so I use this a lot. This helps out a lot, especially if I'm on just you know, trying to control B as much as possible, try not to lose it. Uh, as soon as I get this, then I'll just reload and keep going right away. I got scavenger because this is a fast fire re weapon, and you do get to melt uh, your your ammo capacity fairly quick. So uh, you know having a scavenger, and especially if you're on B flag, uh, you know you'll you'll keep getting ammo. You don't have to worry about uh, trying to find a weapon or you know just trying to be a diversion kind of thing. And then again for my specialist bonus, I have quick draw, resilience, and my two staples: tack mask and uh, blast shield. And then for my finally for my last class. Uh, this is for if my my Remington is not working for me, and I, I'll bust out my AK-12. Uh, usually I use the AK-12 on maps like uh, Sovereign. Sovereign works very well. If you control greenside with the AK, uh, you're going to get a crap load of kills. And then, so I have the foregrip, you know, for the better, better accuracy, and they got the muzzle brake, uh, you know, help me out with the range. Uh, you know, because if I'm watching green, I can kill people on robot or even uh, back computers fairly quick. I got my, I got one grenade and one tack. Uh, again, this is for like, you know, if I'm in a sticky situation, say if I'm on sovereign green side and someone's putting pressure on me, I can just throw my tacks and my grenades, try to, uh, you know, try to get a kill off of that or create a diversion so I can escape. Or if like, if I'm controlling green, and I'm in the middle of a gunfight, and they start capping for going for B. I can just chuck my nades on it, and you know, hope to get a kill. Uh, for perks wise, again, staple my three staples: ready up, uh, dead silence, and focus. And then I got uh, marathon and uh, steady aim. Uh, and on marathon, if I die, I can just get to my position fairly quick, so you know my my spot isn't being watched. And then again, the, the steady aim with the AK works pretty well. Um, I don't know what I want to use for. To replace my steady aim, I can replace it with a, quite a few things, but I don't know what I want to use right now. So I just have a steady aim, and then for my uh, specialist, I have my side of hand. The AK-12 has, I think, the slowest reload time for assault rifles. Uh, so you know, having a side of hand there is going to be necessary. And then, uh, like, I could use switch the steady aim for a side of hand, but usually when I get to three kills. Then the enemy team will start knowing where I am and start chasing me more. So by then I'll have my sleight of hand so I can just you know start killing people fast enough. Then on my six kills I got I got blast shield. Uh, you know if I'm again from watching green on sovereign, and after I get my three kills they're they're gonna try everything in every single way try to get uh get me out of green area. So then they'll start chucking nades and by then I'll be usually sitting at four or five kills and I just need one more for blast shield and. And usually I'll get it before they start chucking nades at me. And then for bonus, we got we got the quick draw again, faster aiming. The, the aim down sights, I think it's the second fastest of all the assault rifles. But so this is just to speed up more or less. I can switch this out for like incog or you know something else if I want to. Uh, and then again, I have you know, resilience. Uh, this is like an it's not a need, but sometimes I, I do this. I go into top control room. And sovereign and jump down to B flag so this you know I don't uh, get injured from fall damage, and then again my my staple I got uh, my attack mask usually attack mask and blast shield will be in my bonus but in this case it's going to be my my strike package at six kills and then so we replace the blast shield that would be in my bonus I put in a uh, scavenger uh, you know just in case if I uh, run out of ammo I'm on a good kill streak uh, this gun I usually get on high kill streaks some reason 
Uh, the damage, if you look at the damage rate right between um, the AK-12 and the Remington, the damage is exactly the same. The only difference is the, uh, the range for the Remington is greater than the AK, uh, but the accuracy for the AK is better than the Remington, so, you know, it just, uh, you know, it, it kind of it counters each other out, I guess. So throwing the muzzle brake on with the AK really helps out uh, to make make it just like the Remington, more or less. Anyway, so those are my classes. Like I said, uh, feel free to use them. Let me know in the comment section below uh, which class you're using and how does it work for you. And as always, this is your boy Marco. Peace out.